Hello, I am Dr. Sunil Kini, Consultant, Joint Replacement and Arthroscopy Surgeon at Manipal Hospitals, Bangalore. To start off with, hip and knee replacements are one of the most successful joint replacement surgeries uh, all around the globe. Uh, the recovery after knee replacement uh, starts immediately after surgery. First, we start uh, mobilizing or the patient or walking the patient on the same day or uh, probably the next day after surgery. We start with the gentle uh, knee range of motion or bending exercises. Also make the patient uh, first to stand up and then even walk a few steps if possible on the first day itself. Uh, the goal is to uh, get the knee to bend about 90 degrees by the time the patient is uh, discharged. We also have set a few more goals at the time of discharge. Firstly, the patient should be able to use the toilet themselves. The patient should walk a considerable uh, distance out of uh, the ward. The patient should uh, have a pain-free joint. The range of motion as I previously said to about 90 degrees. The knee pain and swelling should be at a minimum during time of discharge. Once the patient uh, goes home, uh, we have a physiotherapy team which visits the patient home. It's very important that the physiotherapy continues four or six weeks after surgery and not just during the hospital admission. So the goal at home is to continue with the knee exercises uh, which includes the strengthening of the muscles around the knee, the quadriceps, the hamstring uh, muscles. It also includes improving the range of motion to say maximum to about 130 degrees which is possible. It also includes uh, that the patient's swelling and the pain considerably goes down. Uh, it is important to note that the improvement in knee joint surgery in terms of pain uh, can occur up to about three months after surgery. So if anyone comes to me at three months down the line with some amount of pain that is expected. Similarly, the swelling can be there for a considerable duration, say six months or 12 months uh, after surgery, which is considered uh, normal. In terms of walking aid, uh, we advise the patient to use a walker immediately after surgery, see up to the first uh, couple of weeks. And once the patient is comfortable in terms of pain and mobility, then uh, we advise the patient to use a, a crutch or a walking stick. So this is usually for another two to three weeks. So by about four to six weeks, the patient can be uh, independent without using any aid. Also, if patients like uh, want to drive, we advise that uh, it would be advisable for a minimum of six weeks before the patient can start driving again. And also for people who want to ride a stationary bike, about six weeks to three months be an ideal target to look at. Thank you.